Hey, this is Names Pending, and welcome to World of Final Fantasy. Now, I was a bit apprehensive about buying this one. Um, I played the demo that they released and thought it was incredibly boring, but I saw those reviews of it that kept saying, oh, it's actually really good, it's, it's worth your time, and I found it is. It, you need a lot of time to put into it, save points are few and far between, so if you're only planning on doing like a a half an hour stint don't bother because you need to sink a lot of time into it now the only way I can explain World of Final Fantasy is it's Pokemon meets World of Final Fantasy the reason I say that is you can see my little guy who runs with us you can switch him around and they're all creatures that I've captured so if I go into my stack setups and you can see the ones I've got here who are in my party um, if I go into stack setup you'll see that I've also got others so you've got the small the medium and the large so I've got my searcher black knack and lucky toad and for my large ones I've got right claw red dragon and the Marlboro that you already see. The battle system in this game works by, as you can see here, having stacks. Now each monster creature mirage, um, as the game calls them, mirages, um, has their own abilities that you unlock through the mirage boards, which I'll show you in a minute. And by having the stack, they work with you to increase your health, strength, magic, etc., and give you abilities. Now, Lan and Ren don't have abilities themselves. You can equip certain ones through the Mirage Jewels, Mirror Jewels, however you pronounce it. There's a few weird names in this. Um, so, with Ren has Libra, Defense, and Dark Resistance Mirror Jewels and Lan has Fire, Agility Plus, Thunder and Asuna. Otherwise, they have no abilities of their own really and they, only, they get granted them by the Mirages that they're stacked with. The Mirage boards are where you essentially use the levelling points that each of your Mirages has. So if I go to, for example, Floating Guy, you'll have Floating Guy and its kind of evolved form, which is why I say it's a bit like Pokemon because you capture these creatures in battle once you've weakened them and hit certain criteria and they evolve once you find new versions of them or hit certain points in the Mirage boards. So Floating Guy has so many abilities and you spend your SP points on them. So as you can see here, Magic Plus, Hypnosis and Skill that it's learnt flutter which means that um, if you come across certain points that require flying you can use this mirage to do that whereas if you didn't have it in your party then you wouldn't parties are another thing this game shares with pokemon in that you have a sort of box in which all your captured monsters go to unless you choose to have them in your party now you can have eight is it ten of them at a time um but only two in each stack so currently in this form, um, I've got a floating iron Tama with Ren and Black Knack and Sharkwalt with Lan. However, the main characters can also switch to their Lilikin forms. Um, again, a weird thing of the game. So, what I've shown you before is their Lilikin forms, so these little tiny forms of them, like chibi forms, and then you've got their giant versions. All the characters, all the other characters in this game that I've come across mostly so far have been in the Lilikin forms. Um, even the champion medals. Champion medals are something you gain throughout the game which bring in old people from all the Final Fantasy games. So for example I have Lightning, Warrior of Light, Refia, Tifa, Snow, Squall, Shelk, Bart, Cloud, Celis. Um The other ones I've got equipped here are Sora and Balthia. Obviously Sora is not from Final Fantasy, but is from their other really well-known franchise of Kingdom Hearts. Um, he was a DLC one, um, which I downloaded, along with Balthia actually, and I couldn't say no. 
there were three and I love Kingdom Hearts so I got him the champion medals can be used in a match once the gorge is full so you can see down in the bottom left hand corner here I've got these three stars so that means I can use a three star one or anything lower they do massive damage um, with certain special moves or they'll increase certain aspects of your character such as their defense massively uh, the battles are similar to what Final Fantasy is used to turn based um, well certainly older Final Fantasy games and this is that's where the stacks come into play now because I don't want to well because I want to show you the battles it's not letting me and okay so that was a cutscene they're a bit weird I'm following this queen woman I've got this ruby from her that the storyline required but these guys are trying to find these specific keys which they're chasing after this woman because they think she's going to have them she's the queen of these little penguin guys the storyline is a bit strange um, and that these guys lost all their memories those living in the human world and they lost all the memories of the mirages that they had. They had a very happy life, but one day they just realized they were on their own. And then this lady appeared and suddenly told them they actually were really powerful people. They had control over entire armies of mirages. Um, and that's what they needed to do. They needed to go out and recapture their memories. And so that's what the game does as you're going through saving people and capturing memories and remembering who you were yeah. and what went on. I guess we're doing this. So this is how the battles look. So you've got my stacks on the right and the enemy enemies or enemy stacks on the left. Stacks can be toppled using certain attacks. Now at the moment I'm just going to get land to attack and what, now that I've got rent you have all your abilities. Now there's two types of menus here. You've got your basic which allows you to do so much, not everything, or your classic, which is the only place where you can use items, which is really stupid. So I tend to stick with the basic, but I use um, the classic as well, mostly. Um, so, because you can switch and have the classic as your main one, but if you just if it's quick battle, it's simple press and triangle just gets it done and quick quickly for you. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to use lever on this. So now that I've scanned the stack, it'll give me the details of all of them. So this is a baby tombery. Um, to imprison it, I just need to attack it normally. Um, so you have its weaknesses on the right-hand side as well to all the elements. And you can cycle through the stack, uh, deal a lot of damage at once to imprison that tombery. And for this sea worm, I need to reduce its HP once per battle that'll work so if I just keep attacking it um, you can try and topple it that's the way to imprison them but if you just want to beat it you just have to get it done so these are all my special moves which will tell me the topple thing so this one's a medium one it's not going to do any damage it in fact missed which was great so I'm just I just want to try and topple them so I can capture them because I don't have these ones in my arsenal and I could do with having extra ones just in case. So the resistance to that, um, attack to my guy there, but they work exactly the same as mine would in that their stack de determines their abilities and strengths. So I'm just gonna keep throwing my like abilities that would try and topple them because um, ability is the only one that shows you your topple strength and while they're resistant to these so that little bar that just appeared above the head means they're starting to topple now um, you need to get that to red before they will actually topple and now with LAN I won't be able to do any more special moves so now they've toppled I won't be able to do any abilities because Lan's actually only got two action points. 
So let's just go cycle through them now and see their health, because they all require just a hit to imprison. Now, depends on which one land attacks now. So now the Tombri has got is able to be imprisoned. So this, using the um, classic menu allows you to select who you want to imprison. They throw essentially a Pokeball out and it's captured him. If it doesn't capture him, it breaks and they're still there. But now I've got that one ready to work on my side. Just attack C1, so he's still not being able to be imprisoned. And he's gonna need to die soon before he does too much damage. So I set the baby Tombury. He's now ready to be imprisoned as well. So depending on whether it'll let me. No, he broke free. But if I attack him now, because of the stance he's in, I'm likely to get rid of him and not be able to capture him. So I'm just gonna keep trying to imprison him and it's not gonna allow me. So I'm just gonna attack C1. As you can see, Lan is getting attacked quite a bit, so. And now the C1 is able to be imprisoned as well, so let's try and capture him. He broke free as well. Try again. So now capture the C1. So it is very similar to Pokemon, in that you have to do so much damage, and then you're able to capture them. This little bugger doesn't want to be captured, so I'm gonna try it a few more times. I just want to catch him because he's cute, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to kill him now. Um, before he actually kills me. There we go. And now we're coming up to the level up screen. So you get XP, it's shared throughout the entire party. As you can see, a few of them leveled up then. Um, leveling up doesn't really do too much. It's the Mirage boards that are the most. But you don't really get the SP points you need all the time, especially when leveling up. Again, this part's completely similar to Pokemon. You can check out all the details of your capture, rename if you want, or use a default. And then it's this little screen again, like Pokemon. Take Mirage with you, leave it with Seraphy. Seraphy is the person who guards your box, where you send them to, much like the computers. Prism case, there we go. And here we've got my Tombury. Looks good. Let's, I'm going to try and take this one with me. Um, I'm going to trade my... Hmm, my right claw in. This way I can level up my Tombury while it's in my class till it's a good enough level to be able to be in my stack. Yes. And then I can use that further on. Let me know what you think of Final Fantasy, World of Final Fantasy in the comments and what your favourite Mirage is. At the moment, I love having my Black Mac with me just because he suits my personality. Tama annoys the hell out of me with constantly saying the something, the something. And the Lucky Toad just looks stupid. My little dude looks cool and like a proper Pokemon. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you've liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao.